Bailey, welcome to London. How cool is it to be out here bringing money in the bank to, to the UK audience? Yeah, it's exciting. When we were here um, with NXT TakeOver, like that was a big deal, but this just feels larger than life, you know? Um, I'm very excited. We have SmackDown tonight, and then we have Money in the Bank tomorrow, so it's kind of a, it's a doozy. It's a lot of work, but it's fun. As someone who's achieved essentially everything in the industry so far. How do you make sure that a match like this this weekend stands out from the other Money in the Banks we've had? I mean, it's going to stand out because I'm in it for one. It's going to stand out because this is EO Sky's first Money in the Bank. You know, we're making history. It's going to stand out because Trish freaking Stratus is in this match. When would you ever think that you're going to see Trish Stratus in a Money in the Bank ladder match? That's how desperate she is to be in the best women's division in the whole world, okay? Um... It's just a big match in general. This is one of those matches that people that don't normally get the opportunity at a championship have the opportunity. This is literally technically a championship match. Are you going to win? Probably not because I'm going to win or EO's going to win. Uh, but it just makes it special. We also know how much it means for the fans when we come here. So um, that kind of gives us that extra boost of uh, energy and it's going to be a great night. What about for you personally and everything you have achieved? What is there still for you to achieve in WWE? What's still the big goal for you, Bailey? Um, I still have a lot. I don't, I don't necessarily know if it's like, oh, I want to be two-time Miss Money in the Bank. Of course I want to. I don't know if I need to be champion again. I don't know if I need to do all these things. I just want everything I do to be meaningful. I want everything that Damage Control has done up until this point, I want it to mean something in the end, you know? By the time we're done with our careers, I want people to remember us, and I want people to know when they look at us or think of us that we everything we did was with purpose and that we did it for the better of the WWE, that we did it for you idiots. What's the best thing about coming and doing a premium live event outside of the U.S.? Uh... I mean, it's just a different atmosphere, I think. It's, it's, it's nice to not have to go to the same airport. It's nice not to have to go to the same arenas that you always do. It's nice to come over here and have different coffee and talk to different people that actually appreciate us that haven't been, uh, what is it called? Spoiled? Uh, spoiled. I didn't want to say it, but I haven't been spoiled. I'll say it. Yeah, I'm saying it. Um, I don't like the lack of sleep, but everything else is wonderful. And let me ask you about the moment that Latin wrestling's having in particular right now. The LWO, Dom and Ray stuff, Damian Priest really coming through and having a big moment. How huge is that for you as someone who kind of really starts to pioneer this next move through? Is it? Well, it's because my last name's Martinez. My name is Bailey <laughs> Martinez. Not a lot of people know that. I'm half Mexican, so I don't understand why they haven't let me in the LWO yet. I brought it up with Rey Mysterio, and he kind of laughed at me. So uh, it's it's great to see all of them, you know, be able to do their thing and to be represented in that way. Um, it's it's huge. It's huge in Mexico. It's huge for the fans. So um, one day I'll be a part of it. But it's right now I'm happy for them. It was insane in LA with that. But Zelina's not going to win, just so you know. <laughs> Bailey, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.